So I'm a very big fan of elements that interact on page scroll. So whenever you scroll the page up and down, things happen on the page. And so I asked you guys last week on my community tab if you wanted me to recreate a certain effect that is like that. And 29 people said yes. So I said, okay, so let's get into it. All right, so let's start with laying down the foundation. So I'm going to start with setting up the parent container and I'm going to set this to full width and width 100% and minimum height of 100 pH and also remove any padding. I will leave in the comments below the settings that you need to set to remove the paddings of all the containers from the get-go so you don't have to do this with every container if you want i'll leave it in the description below but in the meantime i will continue doing this but just keep that in mind it's in the description all right so for now this container is all set we're all good and what i'm gonna do now is add another container and this container will actually hold all our columns uh, the diagonal columns and this is basically more or less the same as the previous container in ter terms of settings but there's one thing that i want to do differently as that and that is to set the width to a hundred percent and that would be basically expanding the view of our of our columns will zoom in on the columns. So I am going to set this container to be direction horizontal because we want our columns to sit next to each other, although they are diagonal. And as you can see, we have this very ugly overflow happening here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in the parent container, go to layout, go to additional options, go overflow and set the overflow to hidden. And as you can see, we don't see it anymore and we are good to go uh, let me just go back to uh, changing the removing the padding and now we are ready to add our columns and for columns we're gonna use obviously a container we're gonna set this to full width and the width is going to be only 50 percent not 100 percent any minimum height is going to be 100 vh and we want to set the direction to column vertical and let me also remove the padding in this container so i'm not going to explain this again and again and again i'm just going to do it and hopefully you will remember why all right so i'm going to add an image in here and i'm going to start adding images <laughs> all right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to just duplicate this column and start replacing the images with other images obviously and don't mind that i have the same images here and there okay i'll duplicate this and i'll duplicate this as well so basically we have two of each column and i will mix them up mix the mix and match them so we don't have the same images so for each column you can remove and you should remove any padding that you have because now we are going to be setting uh, the margin between the images in each column and the margin between each column in this container so this is what i mean let's go to the first container and i am going to go and make the space the gap between these images to be 30 pixels so i am going to copy and paste this style onto the other containers columns and the next one and go in the container that holds these columns and set the space the gap between elements to 30 and as you can see now we have the space equal between each other probably you're wondering why you're seeing the discrepancy between the size of the columns is because the images have different heights so if we have images with the same height we will not have this problem which i encourage because it makes it more visually appealing but um i don't think it's a problem anyway since we have a 
sort of a scroll effect on this so it's a motion effect all right so i think we are ready to add our code so i'm gonna go in the container that is holding our columns and i'm going to give this a class and i'm gonna say diagonal and i am going to set my class here diagonal and add my code and as you can see we are getting there one thing i want to do is basically go back to our layout set the position of the container to absolute and set the offset horizontal and vertical to be 50 percent and 50 percent and this is how it's looking right it's pretty good so far right okay let's have a look okay this is the original okay and this is our design right now all right let's go back to elementor so what we want to do now is set our columns in such a way that when we are scrolling up and down on the page these columns move in sync sort of so let's go to the first column and go to advanced go to motion effects scrolling effects turn this on and go to vertical scroll leave it as is to up and turn it down to 3.5 and as you can see when we're scrolling this column moves up and up and up <laughs> and we're going to do the same thing actually with the second contain uh, column another second the third column so go to motion effects up turn it down to 3.65 uh, and as you can see they move in the in sync in the same direction and let's go to the second one let's go to the second column and go to motion effects go to vertical scroll and set this to down and down 3.5 the same with the fourth motion effects scrolling effect vertical down 3.6 and let's see what's happening as you can see they are moving in sync two by two and let's have a look voila okay let's add an empty container underneath this one so we have a little bit more scroll space I'm gonna set this to whatever 100 pH and let's have a look I mean it's adorable right I highly recommend that you put the best pictures that you have in front uh, on the second and the third con container column <laughs> so you have a better representation of what you want to show because this the first and the fourth container column will be a little bit hidden obviously you can add links to this if you want you can convert the whole column into a link your imagination is your limit in this case i guess and obviously i'm sure you're probably asking yourself is this working on mobile or tablet and the answer is yes but we need to do some adjustments so let's have a look on tablet on tablet is pretty okay we don't do we don't have to do much what i will do is reduce the height to about 60 vh but you can leave it at 100 if you want now for mobile eee, we do have to make some adjustments and this is how it's going to look once we have adjusted our view so what i'm going to do let me go back to desktop view and i'm going to go to the first container and i will go to responsive and hide on mobile portrait and i will do the same thing with the last container go to responsive and hide on mo mobile mobile portrait and this will be hidden on mobile and now we have the two containers that we are going to be working with and 
which are the ones that I told you that you should focus your images on. So choose the best images that you can or have for these two. So what we're going to do now is set the container that holds our columns. We're going to set it to 250 and set the second column to 40% 40, 40 width. And the third column as well. Let's set it to 40. Where are you? 40 percent width. And as you can see, our columns are working. Let me just give this a height, a minimum height of 70 maybe or 75. And it's looking much better. Or simply set the height to 100 VH. So there you have it. You can make the containers even bigger if you want. Let's see, 45, where you don't have the corners showing here. And the second one as well. 45. And this is how they look. Let me just replace this image with something else. Okay. And yeah. Pretty much that's it. Let's publish. And voila. If you would like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.